Hey everybody, it's Chestnut! Happy New Year! Welcome back for more! Draw my center under the knife one! Okay, let's go. So last episode, we did uh, save uh, Secretary and we saved Secretary Anderson from the Pempty, but the operation took a toll on his body, so he still died. But at least we killed the Pempty. But yeah, he, he didn't survive that, and his death was really sad. But now, um, Dr. Hoffman will take his place. And we will fight against Delphi, those, those MF bastards. Yeah. That is the mission of Caduceus, and it will not change. I guess it opened up the eyes of, you know, Dr. Hoffman. Yeah, because Delphi is gonna make more strains. So, well, Pempty was one of the hardest, so I don't think the... Maybe the next one is actually harder. Oh, no. A lot of people got infected. Guess they're attacking again. We gotta fight those Delphi... Delphi skilled... skilled bastards. Let's do this, guys. We can do it. Let's use our operating skills and save patients. So, how are you guys? How have we been doing? Did you enjoy your Christmas and New Year? Well, my Christmas and New Year was decent. It wasn't the best, but... I just hope the next one will be better. Just got into a fight with a relative. Because that person is a prick. Screw that... Screw that girl. But at least my girlfriend Kelly is... I mean, yeah, my girlfriend is... Helping me... Consoling me from the sadness life. I also got a new PS Vita game. So I can play that to kill some time. But st I still, my trauma center skills haven't gotten rusty even though I did, that's a lot of weeks I didn't upload. This, uh, this next operation though, Under the Knife, yeah, the operation name is Under the Knife, which is the uh, game's title. It's actually a difficult operation, even though it's, it's, the, it's, a, it's a guilt that we already know. It's kind of difficult because it's multiple patients, so we just need to, that tip there is to move really fast, you need to move fast. Okay, five patients with Kairiaki. And you only have ten minutes. That's actually, and you know what's worse? This Kairiaki strain is an upgraded version. So it's stronger than the past Kairiaki that we, you know, we face, like in uh, Please Let Me Die and uh, the Guild. Those fast operations. This one is really difficult. So you need to be on your toes. You need to move fast. You might need to use a lot of the pause technique here. The pause technique helps a lot. Let's open him up. Okay, now the vials will drain faster because difficulty has been elevated. Oops. <laughs> First patient, and I already got a mistake. And again, I'm I'm not I'm not the best at this game. I'm just decent. In second opinion, uh, Kairiaki operations are not very difficult, and this game they are difficult due to the mere fact that suturing, the detection of the game in suturing is really bad. When you suture something, sometimes 
it won't register so I mean if you put the sutures it will not register as a suture and it will just leave the wound it will not affect have an effect on the wound yeah the detection of this game is really bad that's why they try to improve it in sec in under the knife 2 that's why in under the knife 2 that when you suture there and just make a w shape a w shape suture it's actually enough in this game you need to start from the um you know from start to end you need to suture it properly that's the only way it will register so I, uh, I heard from the professional trauma center uh, players that the, the antibiotic gel is your best friend in this in this difficult operation because sometimes when you're really busy you don't have time to suture all the wounds and the chiriac is already attacking so use the antibiotic gel because when you use the AB gel it actually stops the bleeding of the suture I mean, of the lacerations and when that happens the laceration won't cause damage for a few seconds so yeah so you just keep spamming your antibiotic gel and you know try to rub the gel vigorously because if you do that the healing rate of the gel will be faster I messed up there let's get this bastard up Using the antibiotic gel on the Kyriaki actually slows them down. So you can use that technique like putting gel on them and while they're slowed, use up a bit of turns uh, using the stabilizer. Right, that helps a bit. I'm also, yeah, but this is all an old operation so are they you know the basics, I already told you what to do. Kyriaki is simple. The only thing that that's ugly with this operation, it's 10 minutes and 5 patients. So you need to be like... Uh, each patient should uh, only take 2 minutes. But I don't, I don't think that's possible. The fastest I could do is actually 3 minutes. Unless you're really good at this game, it's very hard to pull off two minutes per patient. So I don't think I won't I will be able to save all the patients. The good thing about this though, you don't actually need to finish all the patients. As long as you save three three out of five patients, it's okay. After you beat two uh, after you save two patients already enough you can well you need to finish the third one as well but even though time runs out you can still continue the game so look at look at that bastard I'm not yet even done suturing the last laceration and they started attacking this is and now there's three carry actors. you see you see how bullshit this uh, next stage of Kyriaki making it extremely difficult Oh yeah, spam, spam this, yeah. Just keep doing that on the wounds, it will slow down the vital loss rate. I've seen it on uh, some pro, pro trauma center players do that. They kind of ignore the lacerations. Because I think the reason is, the game can only, um, in this game, the game only allows a number of lacerations and there's a maximum number of lacerations and even though the Kariaki attacks it won't get you know it will not increase in number if that made any sense so sometimes even if the, the screen is full of lacerations if you just use the gel it will stop its bleeding and the laceration wouldn't be doing any damage for a few seconds so yeah the gel is your best friend I actually didn't think the antibiotic gel was useful until I saw it, saw people abusing that because the gel I thought was actually very useless. You know, it's only for for uh, you know putting the synthetic membranes. But 
the gel actually has a lot of uses in this game. Like it slows down the Kanriaki, it increases your health. It increases your health but gradually. But if you massage the gel really fast, it will also restore your vital really fast. <laughs> it's a nice alternative if you can't use the stabilizer. Well, you know, the stabilizer is, is you know, in cooldown. You can use the gel. When I was still noob at Trauma Center, I didn't know that that is the technique to save the patient. Like, when I ran out of stabilizer, then the patient's piles were dropping, said, Oh no, come on, recharge, recharge, come on! But, you know, the patient died because I wasn't able to... You know keep his vials from falling then I found out that the gel can actually save you a bit think of it like focus band from Pokemon it can save you a very it can only save you a little bit you know. your main priority of you know uh, your first priority or healing is of course stabilizer if you can't stabilize it then just use the gel Ah uh, yeah, speaking of Pokemon, I've been playing a bit of Pokemon lately. Pokemon X, but I know it's a old game, it's not like Sun and Moon, but I still like X, X and Y, Pokemon XY, because there's super training and there's the restaurant where you can grind your experience, you know, grind your Pokemon and train their love grinder. Let me see, I mean, get experience fast. I think they removed that in Sun and Moon, so there's a different method for training our Pokemon fast there. But the restaurant is my favorite in, in the Kalos region because restaurants give off lots of experience points and also money. You can sell the bomb mushrooms and it will actually give you a lot of money. And also the new PS Vita game, which is uh, Senran Kagura. That's the both versus. It's, a, it's an etchy game. There's a lot of perverted stuff there though. But I like the character there that builds the gigantic sword, uh, Yomi Chan, because she's voiced by Aikayano. Yeah. And Aikayano is the one who voiced Mocha. So yeah, that's the reason why. Okay. Use the gel sometimes. It helps. You know, the bad thing about the old Trauma Center games in the DS. They, they gave you a hard time healing. Why didn't they just use the what they did in second opinion and new blood where using stabilizer just press on the screen and this in the ds1 you need to pull up the syringe then inject it see how how much of an inconvenience that is while in new blood you don't need to do it like this you just need to press on the press on the container and it will fill up the syringe you don't need to press move your stylus up I mean they found a way to make their game easier yeah the difference the difference uh, between the Kairiaki of second opinion and trauma center under the knife one is that Kairiaki in the Wii version they move faster well here when you detect them and they get out of the body they move slower but even though that's the case second opinion sky react is easier due to the fact that suturing in that game is less of a pain and also the sky react there it's it's very easy to die with a the laser they are so yeah just point the laser at them for a very few milliseconds and they're dead and plus, the Kairiaki in Second Opinion looks more 
looks more decent unlike this one they look like some mini sharks inside the body while in second opinion they look like zoo bats inside your body there's a bit of a bunch of zoo bats inside the organ <clears throat> yeah they're they're bats because they have wings okay I'm running out of time but I still got to the next patient this is the fourth patient so I only have 30 seconds left uh, there's no way I can finish this in 30 seconds but at least when you run out of time you can just continue the game at your own pace you don't need to hurry up it's the only good thing about running out of time actually there's nothing good about running out of time if you want a good rank you need if you want to S rank this mission they're asking for the impossible you need to finish all patients and you also need to not make any mistakes are they crazy five patients Kairiaki, bad detection bad suturing and they expect you to finish that to be able to get the S rank no it's impossible you gotta be crazy crazy good to be able to pull that off even if you manage to save all five patients but you make a mistake you get a bit of bads instead of good and cool oh you're not gonna get the S rank you're just gonna get a B or C so much for rank though know. okay, this part it's really extremely difficult already when there are three Karyakis on the screen, it's best that you use the healing touch already. Because three Karyakis, they deal lots of damage. The healing touch is really useful right now. In the Queen Karyaki, you don't need to use the healing touch on her. She's not that hard the queen kairiaki because actually the larger kairiaki moves slower I, don't know. I mean it's easy to get them out because they are easy to be seen they're large unlike small kairiakis which are harder to be spotted by the ultrasound son of a okay Better heal up before you suture that last one. It's gonna be at one heck of a battle. Then use the gel. See, look at the healing rate of the gel. It's fast if you massage the gel fast. Okay. Let's go. Oh, you see? Detection failed. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Small and big. Get the small first. Let's get the small first. <clears throat> Shell it. Laser it. <clears throat> I don't know if I'll be able to pull off the next operation. The next operation is shifting guilt. It's actually 3T level 2. 3T is very difficult and one of the what I told you the bullshit kill of the game there will be a point in time that in this let's play I am probably gonna use a bit of codes like you know cheat codes like health or time but only on certain operations that I think it's impossible to, to finish without using cheats but if I can manage to beat this the level without using cheats I'll do it but if I can't I'm gonna use some codes I'm gonna use some of the game shark codes of the game. Actually, if I if I had a better capture device, I wouldn't less play Second Opinion. Second Opinion was a better game than this. Because in Second Opinion, there are more characters. The the story is actually better, and they have more soundtracks too. I don't know what, what game I'm gonna let's play after this partial let's play. I think I'm gonna stop before we reach Paraskevi. Uh, I might 
I'll think about it. Maybe I'll stop after Pearl's Cave. I won't reach Sabato. Or maybe only Sabato, immature Sabato. But the true final form Sabato, I won't be able to reach that part of the game. I'll probably end this Let's Play already. At least I already made like 10 episodes of this Let's Play, right? That's pretty much a lot. I pro probably do something like Pokemon Sapphire or something like that, or, or um, another Mario game. Well, I wish I can also do an anime game, like the Dojin. I have some Dojin games in my PC. I got a game about Mikuru, Mikuru, Mikuru Asahina, you know, the one from Haruhi. I, I got a game about her. It's like a side scroller. Maybe I'll play that or Pokemon Sapphire. That's the two games I think I'm, I want to let's play next. But you know, yeah, we come a long way. We got a we came a long way, but I'm out of time. Oh, you see,